we want to take a moment and explain why is it that we keep posting educational videos, but not how-to videos? And one of the reasons, as we allude to it in some of our videos, is that we want people to be careful from self-treating, because sometimes when people self-treat, specifically as they are stuck in the pattern of chronic pain, some not-so-good things can happen. But I want to give you the visual of that. So I'm going to yet again use the fascia suit because it's a great visual. So come a little closer to me, Brady, good. And I'm going to give Brady a really severe myofascial restriction, right, at his right hip over here, okay? So let's do what we did before. So Brady, go ahead and try to lift both your arms up for me. And I'm, I'm right, anyway, that, that's about it, okay? Now let that go, Brady. Now, did you see, first of all, can you see he's bent forward, right? Did you see how his left arm didn't move, right? His left arm didn't move well at all. So go ahead, lift your left arm again, right? It's caught up, okay? So drop that left arm. He could have a left shoulder issue and a left neck issue. And what I want to caution against, if I'm thinking, oh my God, his left arm doesn't move, and I go and release here, what's going to happen is this is an active line of pull. The more material you give me over there, Good, so let that go for me, Brady. The more it's gonna pick it up over here, okay? Because this doesn't stop pulling. So if I'm mistreating and just going where there's some pain and restriction without looking at the whole system, I could cause bigger issues. And there goes the microphone, but I could cause bigger issues. Please be really, really careful, okay, of self-treating. No one ends up with chronic pain because they can feel exactly what's happening in their body. They're caught in this loop, this feedback loop that they don't actually know what's happening. So be very mindful from self-treating. That's just the visual of what can happen if we do it.